Hello everyone, welcome to my channel 1M90 and this is Amit. So in this video we'll be looking into how do we establish a connection to MySQL database using Node.js. So this video is for beginners. Having said that, the prerequisites for this video is you should be aware about Node.js basic concepts as well as MySQL concepts. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, let us go ahead and visit the demo application first. So let us do the setup and I do want to extend this video for a prolonged session. So that's why I have already done the coding for this. So what I can do is I'll just go ahead and explain you uh, what, are, what are the code I mean explain you the code and maybe I can create a github repository and I can share the link of the github repository in the description of this video you can go ahead and clone the repository so this is kind of a blueprint so having said that this video I'm I'm repeating this video is for a beginner level so let's see so let us go through the you know some kind of demonstration so, so there is a mysql uh, database i have created which is an address book and this particular address book has three tables in it so one that stores the people info which is the first name and last name and the address table stores the address related info so just a plain text address and there is another intermediate table which is a connection between these two which which is called as person addresses i have created this so basically it stores the uh, person id and the corresponding address id of that person so this is the actual schema this is how it looks and the application looks something like this so you have a, a express.js and in a view part so which is a middleware i have used uh, so this is a simple form which you know takes first name last name and address these are the three inputs so these two are input boxes and this is a text area so and there is a, a submit button so which on submit it goes and you know stores the uh, input data into the uh, mysql database so uh, i repeat it i have uh, done all the coding because i do want to extend this video to the prolonged session so that's the major reason for this uh, so let us go ahead and see how does the code look like so we have a package.json so in package.json you have uh, the name version description and the main uh, app.js which is a main uh, you know root file for this and uh, there are no actually scripts that are uh, preloaded so that that's okay no test scripts uh, so you have a dependencies so body parser uh, express.js express and mongoose mongoose is not required so i am doing another video uh, with the same i mean wherein uh, how do we establish a connection with a mongodb uh, via node.js so this is used in that so for so suppose if your requirement is such that you know if you are only uh, supposed to establish a connection uh, via mysql so only this this is what you need so since uh, I am making uh, another video, so this is in here. So you can uh, remove this line of code, right? So this is how the package.json looks like. So once you have the package.json, so you need to go ahead and, you know, uh, do a npm install. Uh, so once that is done, so it downloads all the required node modules. And uh, what else? Yeah, so uh, there is uh, an app.js. So in this app.js yeah so in this app.js so I have uh, required the express uh, you know middleware so I have used the require syntax uh, and mysql as well because we are interested in making connection with mysql database and there is a controller part so which I have required so this is this there is a HTML controller and uh, we also need to have a port so i have added the port over here so this is a port uh, this is a node.js port basically node.js environment port right uh, so this is how uh, you know you stop i mean you have you set up the application now uh, so you say uh, assets because i have uh, i have a style.css in my public directory so that uh, you know you you need to say app.use 
so after that you need to set the view, uh, view engine so basically uh, I have the EJS view engine for ExpressJS um, and next so you need to specify the app dot use so wherein you make a connection so this is how you create a connection so by uh, using the mysql uh, library now this is the npm package i mean uh, so you can find the documentation about it uh, i mean you can just google out right so this is these are the you know some uh, like you know handy uh, parameters that it takes which is which is which are you know self explanatory i believe so which is the host user username password and database and if suppose if your port number is something else like you know by default the port number for mysql is 3306 so if your port number by default it takes 3306 but if you have any other port number so then you need to specify it explicitly got it and uh, this is how you execute a query so there is i mean you create a connection and you have the connection object you got the connection object by using the mysql dot create connection uh, method of mysql library and now you do a connection dot query so in connection dot query you pass the actual query what you intend to run and once you get the you know connection once you execute this connection dot query whatever the rows that are returned these are in this particular rows variable right so and you also in this uh, app.js you are also calling the html controller and you are passing the app so app is basically your express middleware and it's listening to the port 3007 this is the port right so this is how the app.js looks like and uh, now let's navigate to html controller now let, let's look at the view part first so this is the exp I mean the view part. So wherein I have this first name, last name, and, and address. Address is a text area. This is a simple form. Uh, so you have three inputs, and there is a form. So I have uh, uh, included the style.css for your custom needs, and there is a bootstrap.css. I mean bootstrap.min.css uh, for our you know kind of bare blueprint styling and i have also used jquery so just in case if you want to use angular you can go ahead and use angular again so i have not i mean i have not coded anything in jquery i didn't require but that is in here right so this is the view part and once you hit submit the action takes you to the slash person so what exactly is slash person so you have the route specified for slash person over here you can see here so let's do so this is the HTML controller in this you use the body parser uh, so body parser is a package which is used to you know uh, accept uh, which is used to use accept the post or get requests from any uh, view part so while you know if, if you want to design an API using node.js so you use the body parser for this so using body parser you can accept the post requests you know get request and serve them so this is the body parser this is the mysql again you know to establish the connection so um, this is the syntax so i have just simply uh, copied the node uh, packet i mean this i have simply copied this from the node packet manager side uh, the npm side of mysql got it so uh, yeah let's go here so once you submit the form the request uh, pass through and it comes over here and what happens here is so you create a connection object you pass the uh, you know parameters uh, host username password and this is a terrible password so i've created uh, one user for this so this is a terrible password i have kept so this is a database and the port number got it and i have uh, used two variables which is uh, the people id and address id so that I, i'll be getting these uh, values uh, from the uh, you know intermediary queries that i run initially before storing them into the uh, you know person addresses table so now what happens is uh, so you get i mean you uh, 
you fill the form you enter the first name last name and address and you pass through this uh, and you submit the form to uh, the slash person uh, you know action and here the post request arrives so what happens is so in this particular when you do a post request so there is a request and response so in the request dot body you you get the you know post data your post data whatever you have posted from a form so right so that will be in request dot body so and with a name i mean parameter or a key name so first name whatever i have uh, passed in the you know form the name where is it index.ejs yeah here it is so this is the first name last name these are the uh, these are this is the name that i have passed in so with the same key i'll be getting it via post request in request.body so got it so here i'm preparing a simple sql query which is insert into people first name last name and request.body.first name and dot last name got it so this is a pretty straightforward query it's a simple insert and same here addresses insert into address and values got it so these are a couple of queries so which i need to execute so what i'll do is first i'll be executing the uh, first uh, insertion of uh, a first name and last name into people's table so and in this so once you run the query you get the inserted id so i'm storing that inserted id into this you know variable called people id so which i need it in order to insert into people addresses so this is kind of this establishes a, establishes a relation between people and address so i need this got it so this is a people id and so we execute it this way and i have another query which is addresses sql uh, in the same fashion i also preserve this address id so that you know for the same reason to insert into people addresses so this is the people addresses in a mapping table wherein i am inserting the address id and person people id got it and i execute this query so let me just comment this out got it so i'm just uh, printing out the intermediate results so say like what's the result what's the inserted id so i'm just console i'm just logging them in the console so that you know i, I could see it got it so let's go ahead and give it a try so i can say this is my first name this is my last name and this is the address all right so i have refreshed it so there is nothing in there as of now so let me hit a submit so once i hit submit let's look at the intermediate consoles that i have pasted so insert into people so this is the query submit and or a query so and this is the id that i have printed the id of the people and this is the id of the address so and now this is the intermediate query which is person address and here i'm passing 11 and 10 which is people id and address id so let's go and check out in the database if that is really get got inserted so here we have eight rows so you see the ninth one got added got it and there is a amit hara query and i have address which is 10 in pune which i just input and this is the mapping table got it so it looks pretty straightforward so this tutorial is for beginner who has just started learning uh, node.js is not for uh, uh, you know advanced users so i hope this this gives you a, a kind of a overview as how do we connect to mysql database so uh, that's that's it guys so i think i'll be leaving the github repo link just in case you need this uh, as a reference uh, and in case if you find any issues or 
like when setting up or any other issues related to node and mysql so please uh, comment out in the description below i'll try to reply to as many comments as i can okay i guess uh, that's it for this video and i hope you guys liked it if you liked it then please turn that gray to blue i mean please press the like button okay thanks a lot for watching have a great day ahead bye bye